7b. Visiting different places. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Hi, Charlie. Do you like this picture? <laughs> it's quite funny. Can I color it? Of course. What would you like to color first? Well, can you see the boy with the parrot on his shoulder? Yes. I'd like to color his backpack. There. It's green now. Can you see the green backpack? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. What else can I color? What about one of the animals? Which one? The goat at the bottom of the waterfall. OK. Is the water in that stream deep? I don't know. Use the color brown for that one, please. Sure. Two. What can I do next? Can you see the boys' baseball caps? Yes. Can I color the one that the boy on the right is wearing? Good idea. How about blue? Is that all right? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Three. Now I'd like you to write something. OK. On the board? Under the cloud? Yes. Can I call that place Sky Hill? Mm, we need a longer word than that. I'd like to choose the name White Hill instead. It isn't its color, but OK. Four. What would you prefer to color next? The empty plate, I think. OK. Use purple, please. No, actually, orange is a better color for that. All right. No problem. Great. Five. Twelve B. And let's write a, a journey no into space. Can you see the robot in this picture? You can? Good. The robot's name is Zenith. You spell that Z-E-N-I-F. Now look at the three astronauts. The one in the middle is behind the net. His name's Yabachi. I'll spell that for you. It's Y-E-B-A-R-C-H-I. The astronaut that's jumping out of the rocket has a really unusual name, too. He's called Paviol. That's P-A-V-I-O-L. Can you see the third astronaut? She's at the front of the picture. Look, she's playing badminton, too. Her name's Glustida. Write her name now. You spell it G-L-U-S-T-I-D-A. Twelve E. A journey into space. Listen and write the names of the planets and then color the planets. One. 
Dad, I have to write the names of the planets and color this picture. Can you help me? All right. Find the planet that's nearest the sun. Do you mean the smallest planet? Yes. Color it brown. That's the color of Mercury in space. Mercury? Okay. Two. Now, look for the biggest planet. Its name is Jupiter. And what color is Jupiter? Well, first, draw a red spot on that planet. And then what must I do? Put some orange and yellow stripes on that planet. All right. Three. Four of the planets have rings round them. Can you see? Oh yes. What's the name of this planet, the one with the most rings? That's Saturn. And I know what color Saturn is. It's yellow. That's right. Use that color. Four. Which planet is between Saturn and Neptune? That's Uranus, and Uranus is the same color as Neptune. So it's light blue then. That's right. Make it that color. Five. The last planet to color is Mars. Wait a minute. Mars is the red planet, isn't it? That's right. Great. I've got the right pencil here then. Thanks, Dad. That's the end of my homework. Thirteen B. What horrible weather! Listen. Use words from A to complete the sentences. One. Oh no! Look at those big black clouds in the sky, Ben. If it's raining at the sports centre, we can't play volleyball outside. Two. Did you hear that storm last night, Dad? Yes, Lily. I couldn't sleep because it was so noisy. Three. Look over there, Mum. Oh yes, what a lovely rainbow! It's beautiful. Four. The temperature is still below zero, so be careful when you ride your bike to school today, Helen. Don't worry, Dad. I know there might be ice on the roads. Five. It's really late, Mom. Can't you drive any faster? Not in this fog, Fred. It's too dangerous. Six. Look at all the snow, John. It's falling really quickly now. Well, let's go outside and make snowballs.
13 C. What horrible weather! Listen and look. There is one example. Do you like this picture, Grandpa? My friends and I often go to this playground. It looks great there. Can you see the kid on the swing? The one with blonde hair. Yes. Why isn't he wearing any shoes? I don't know. His name's Harry. He's one of my classmates. 13E. What horrible weather. Listen to the first half of the story. What did you hear? Four friends are in the playground. Their names are Sue, Michael, Vicky, and Robert. Some other people are there, too. It's a sunny day, and everyone's happy. The weather suddenly changes. It gets cloudier and then starts to rain. Brr, my hair's getting really wet, says Sue to Robert. And I'm frightened of storms, Vicky says to Sue. Well, I'm getting really cold. I haven't got a jacket, says Robert to Michael. Come on, Michael says to Vicky and the other two children. Let's run to my house. Thirteen F. What horrible weather. Listen. Which picture comes next? The children are watching TV in Michael's living room, but they aren't enjoying themselves. What can we do? The weather's worse now. Look, it's horrible out there. How about watching some cartoons on the Internet? We can't do that. Dad turns the computer off when there is a storm. We could play chess. Or what about doing some drawing? No, that's boring, Michael. Shall we just watch some more TV then? Yes! 14C. Are you hungry? Thirsty? Listen and look. 1. What can Julia have for dinner? What can I have for dinner, Dad? Would you like a bowl of soup and some cheese, Julia? Not really. I had that for lunch at Claire's house. Did you? Well, what about some meatballs with tomato sauce and rice? Can I have beans with some sausages? I like those much more. All right. Two. What did David have for lunch? What did you have for lunch at school today, David? A burger. What did you have with it? Fries? No, I was very good. I had a salad. Did you have a banana milkshake, too? No, just a glass of water today. 3. What does Katie want for breakfast? Good morning, Katie. Are you hungry? Not very. What's for breakfast? I'm having eggs and tomatoes. Would you like some, too? No. Just bread with jam, please. OK. What about some orange juice or strawberry yoghurt, too? No, thanks. 4. What did Frank eat at the party? Did you enjoy the party yesterday, Frank? Yes. It was fantastic. We did puzzles and had a dance competition. But there wasn't any birthday cake. Oh, 
were there lots of different sandwiches to eat instead? No, only pizza. But it was delicious. It was as good as yours, Mum. Fifteen A. What's for dinner? Listen and look. There is one example. I'm reading a funny book, Dad. It's for younger children, really, but I don't mind that. The story's about the animals in this picture. Oh, they're having a picnic. They look very strange. Some look quite scary too. Ha! Yes, they do. And all these animals have names. Can you see Paul? He's already sitting on one of the seats. Do you mean the panda with the chopsticks? That's right. He borrowed those from one of the others. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. What are they eating? It's difficult to see. Sausages, burgers, and meatballs, I think. But the cook burned some of them. Oh dear. What's the cook's name? Harry. He likes wearing that red baseball cap in sunny weather. He sometimes wears sunglasses too. Really? The two giraffes are having fun. Look. Yes. The shorter one's called Eva. What's the other one's name? I can't remember. Sorry. It's okay. I didn't know that parrots could skip. Well, this one can. What kind of juice is that insect drinking? It's mango juice, I think. Well, it's enjoying it. What's its name? Jill. It's a really strange insect. If it wants to, it can change the colour of its body and legs. What a brilliant idea! I'd like to do that. Dad, and look, there's Richard. Which creature is that? The one with the camera in its arms. Does it like taking photos? Yes, videos too. It's looking at some on the little screen. And here's Anna. She listens to rock music all day long. Is that why she's moving her wings up and down? Is it some kind of dance? No, she's getting ready to fly off to fetch some more food. I think. I can't remember. I see. So, what will all these animals do after their picnic? Oh, I don't know yet. I have to read more of the story to find out. Fifteen D. What's for dinner? Listen and order the pictures, one to six. William's wonderful honey cake. Hi. You might need some help, but you could make this delicious cake by yourself. Right. You need a cupful of flour, some butter, two eggs, a large spoonful of honey, and something else. Oh, a cupful of sugar, of course. To prepare, you should turn on the oven before you start and wash your hands. First, put some sugar into a big bowl. You don't need very much because there's honey in this cake too. When the sugar is in the bowl, cut the butter into small pieces. Use a knife to do that. Then you can add the butter to the sugar. Mix these two things together with a big spoon. Find some flour and put that in next. Then break the eggs and put those carefully into the same big bowl. Last, you put the honey in. You don't need a lot. Then you mix everything together again with your big spoon. Some people add carrots before they put the cake into the oven. 
That might sound really strange, but carrots taste great in cakes. You cook the cake for half an hour. Enjoy!